capacitor bank sizing calculation i will show you how to do that capacitor bank sizing calculation uh, with the help of a real time project document so this is basically uh, low voltage uh, lb capacitor bank sizing calculation and this is an excel spreadsheet as as you can see these are the these are the load load description from the load list you can get all these load uh, this load details and here that uh, rating load rating and operating load here it is considered as 60 percent so if the motor rating is if the motor rating is 11 kilowatt then the 60 percent operating load is 60 percent of this uh, 11 kilowatt that means 6.6 6.6 kilowatt okay that initial power factor which is cos phi 1 if it is 0 0.85 and the target power factor cos phi 2 which is 0 0.97 which means this is the current power factor 0 0.85 and we need to improve the power factor so our target power factor cos phi 2 is 0 0.97 or it may be unity power factor uh, though 0 0.97 or 0 0.98 so this is the target power factor so we need to improve from 0 0.85 to 0 0.97 or 0 0.98 or 0 0.99 as per the requirement so we need to use this capacitor bank and in that case definitely we need to size the capacitor bank using uh, this formula what is that so mf this multiplying factor will be 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 because we know the initial power factor cos phi 1 and also now we have the target power factor as cos phi 2 so we can get this 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 so in this case it is 0 0.368 and now the capacitor uh, rating or uh, not capacitor rating this will be the uh, kilobar kilobar uh, requirement that is equals to pc that means operating load which is the uh, which is 60 percent 60 percent we have considered that 60 percent load multiplied by this mf multiplied by this mf that means in this case for the aop motor this 6.6 .6 kilowatt multiplied by this 0 0.368 it will give the result as 2.43 kilobar so it will take this motor will take uh, this 2.43 kilobar reactive power okay to improve the power factor from initial power factor of 0 0.85 to the target power factor which is 0.97 so this is the uh, this is the interpretation uh, for this capacitor bank so if we now if we sum up all these all these feeder wise the load wise or the feeder wise all the requirements like this using the same formula let's say this is for uh, one mcc this is applicable for one mcc here these are the loads so these are the total kilobar okay now if we go to the another mcc like this so there there may be uh, multiple mccs which are being fed from the single pmcc or pcc power control center or power com motor control center so what will be the capacitor banks connected with the pcc not 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 uh, with each and every uh, mcc uh, we don't uh, want uh, to add uh, but we need to connect that capacitor bank with this pmcc or the pcc which is feeding power to multiple mccs mcc 1 2 3 4 uh, any number of mccs feeders are uh, going uh, those feeders are being fed from this from this pmcc or this 
PCC power control center. So we need to connect this capacitor bank. Now let's continue that discussion. Here, if we see this total 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 for this uh, PMCC bus A for this for this PCC bus A, what is the total kilowatt kilowatt requirement here? So this is coming as, as 346. 346.48 kilo uh, requirement is there so we need to we need to uh, connect uh, this much of uh, you know this much of uh, capacitor bank uh, equivalent uh, kilo requirement uh, which can supply this capacitor bank can supply so this is applicable for one PCC um, let's say bus A so likewise there will be uh, bus B also for bus B similar type of uh, similar type of uh, um, uh, formula similar type of approach we need to apply because from bus B also there are some MCCs uh, feeders and uh, also the um, outgoing feeders there may be some outgoing feeders also so in this way we need to calculate uh, feeder wise MCC wise or PM, PCC bus wise and and finally if we go to the summary sheet here let's say this is the uh, PCC um, bus A this is PCC bus A so the calculated kilowatt it is coming from here from that first sheet where, where, where we have where we have seen this um, 346.48 so this is 346.48 this is the calculated kilowatt and uh, considering 10 percent margin if we consider 10 percent margin then it's coming 381.13 kilowatt and uh, we have selected this is the final kilowatt uh, this is the standard rating let's say 400 kilowatt this is not I will not say this is the standard value 300 kilowatt or 400 kilowatt rather we need to we need to um, select uh, as per the market availability let's say uh, 100 kilowatt it's the standard rating 100 kilowatt uh, into four that means four four units four numbers four numbers uh, each rated 100 kilowatt capacitor bank we need to use then maybe that uh, 50 kilowatt is also available 25 kilowatt also available so we need to uh, select accordingly based on the market availability and obviously it depends on the manufacturer it may vary manufacturer to manufacturer but these are the standard rating 25 kilowatt uh, 50 kilowatt uh, 50 uh, kilowatt or 100 kilowatt like this so this is the this is the um, method we need to find out what is the requirement calculated keyword and uh, applying the margin as 10 percent or 15 percent as per your project uh, specification requirement and accordingly we need to finalize this uh, final keyword and based on the market availability we need to choose that one okay now i will show you uh, another document uh, another uh, project document uh, here it is in PDF similar type of approach you can see here also so for this area for this location these are the these are the feeders these are the feeders and here motor quantity okay rated output this is the motor rated output and design operating load so here it is considered 80 percent so in this project uh, we had to consider 80 percent previously I I showed you in this Excel spreadsheet as 60%. This operating load is 60%. In this project, we have considered 80% because it was the requirement. Okay. Now, uh, power factor cost 51. This is the initial power factor 0 0.8, and uh, target power factor cost 52, which is 0 0.99. So we need to improve the power factor from 0 0.8 to 0 0.99 so what is the multiplying factor that will come equals to 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 so we know the cost uh, the value of cost phi 1 and cost phi 2 so accordingly we can get this 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 value so this this will be multiplied this will be multiplied uh, with this 
80% load which is 61.2 so if we multiply this 61.2 uh, by this 0 0.608 we can get the k bar k, k bar uh, which is coming 37.1 k bar and uh, and it is uh, all the feeder wise k bar requirement those are those are uh, added uh, here like this so in this in this case it is coming 331.79 uh, this is this is uh, similar as i have already discussed uh, with the help of the excel spreadsheet now now i will show uh, you uh, for a typical calculation uh, typical calculation um, for one motor feeder okay here you can see 2960 kvar requirement so total number of cells is coming uh, that is uh, 12 numbers okay okay so here it is uh, this is for this is for one motor this is for one motor uh, how it is coming so lb for 415 volt motor uh, one number motor so motor rating is 76.5 kilowatt rating of motor this is not the standard rating okay anyway operating power factor cos phi 1 is 0 0.8 and uh, cos phi 2 target power factor uh, that is 0 0.99 this is the sample calculation so capacitor rating selection how it will be done so pc equals to uh, nm multiplied by uh, pm that is uh, one number one number and uh, this pc is basically 80 percent of the motor load so 80 percent of 80 percent 80 percent of this 76.5 kilowatt it, uh, it is coming 61 kilowatt so rating of the capacitor which is to be connected qc that is equals to kc kc multiplied by pc so what is kc that is 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 so we know the value of we know the value of cos phi 1 and also we know the value of cos phi 2 so we can get the value of 10 phi 1 and 10 phi 2 so this is uh, kc which is coming 0 0.608 and if we multiply this uh, kc uh, with this you know 80 percent uh, motor load so it is coming 37.21 Kvar. this is the typical uh, calculation uh, the same thing is shown here also here as you can see yeah this is the first uh, first example it is there first example it's there so uh, it's very simple uh, calculation but uh, if you have the concept you can uh, you can select uh, any other uh, you know uh, applicable for for uh, all other um, uh, switch boards or switch gear buses or or uh, in the you know, power power control center or power cam motor control center so if you have any query in this regard you can uh, put your comment in the comment box i will come back to you